I'm laughing, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> because I've now looked deeper <laughs> into the Peacemaker intro. And the lyrics are, do you really want to, do you really want to taste it? <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> is chapter two of Peacemaker. This one is called Best Friends for Never. You've heard the saying best friends forever, but no, this is best friends for never. And I realized I got one of the pertinent people wrong. Uh, in the last episode, I called Warcraft her name. It's hardcore is her name. Um, and this episode actually starts off with Peacemaker calling her. And the, you know, you can put names on your phones. Her name for Peacemaker is Dumb Shit. And he rings and he's like, what the fuck is Project Butterfly? That's what this main thing is. And he explains that he got with someone, she tried to kill him. And then Hardcore is like, shit, shit, oh fuck, fuck, I gotta go, I gotta go. And she rushes out to the new recruit. She bangs on the window and she's like, Peacemaker just killed a fucking butterfly. And we see eagerly outside as the cops arrive peacemaker goes back up to the apartment to get Ozzy to get his suit and stuff the cops arrive and they name drop vigilante that they, they're already dealing with stuff that he's doing so they don't need to deal with this peacemaker is actually up in the apartment just taking her stuff like taking her cds and then he finds this weird device thing that's like flashing blue and then he obviously has to escape because the, the, the cops see him up at the window and they enter they go around the side he has to rush up the stairs and then he finds this couple who seem nice at first but then they argue a lot and peacemaker has to tie them up to say, oh, there was hostages here, you know, the cops arrive, Peacemaker and jumps out of the balcony, like he goes out to the balcony and just jumps down each floor. More cops do arrive whenever they break in, or when they kick down the door, more cops arrive and they see Peacemaker escaping, Hardcore then comes in and he rescues him eagerly just barely gets in the car they're being shot at and they drive away so the, the first like 10 15 minutes of this was just peacemaker trying to escape the apartment block then we see john and Mern. they're talking about the license plate of peacemaker's car they're talking about you know fingerprints and John's like oh yes I, I got that replaced so whenever they get the results back they'll know more and he ends up framing Peacemaker's father the police the cops show up at the dad's place and he's like oh I'm saying nothing that's my son and they're like your son Christopher Smith Peacemaker what, what was he doing and he doesn't answer anything he just shuts the door so now they're a bit suspicious and Martin's like, you put the one guy that we actually want on our side, you framed his father? And John's like, oh, well, you know, I panicked, you know, you were in the bathroom. He's like, do I need to tell you every time I go for a shit? <laughs> and then Peacemaker comes back uh, with Hardcore and the new recruit. I will learn her name, don't worry. <laughs> and John is then tending to Peacemaker's stitches. And he name drops Harley Quinn. He name drops uh, the weasel. That he'd rather be working with them. And then he goes, fuck, I'd even be working with Batmind or something. It's a, it's a comic reference, Batman or something. I don't know, I can't remember. But they then talk about, oh, who's, who's leaking information to the butterflies? Who's telling them that we're after them? And they go, well, it can't be John. He's too much of a dipshit, or he's too, he's too much of a weakling to do it. Could be Amanda Waller, which I think could be a possibility because in the last step, 
episode, she actually gave her daughter, who is the new recruit, Peacemaker's Diary. Don't know how she got that, but... <laughs> and then Peacemaker reveals, oh no, wait a minute, I was the one. And we see the chick reading his, like, notes. And then that's what that led her to attack. And he's like, no one's told me what the fuck a butterfly is. You haven't told me anything or why we're doing this. And he goes back to his trailer and he completely breaks down here. He breaks down and he's like, you killed Rick Flag, Peacemaker, what a joke. <laughs> and then we meet the Vigilante. Vigilante shows up in this episode and Peacemaker's like covering his eyes thinking he's got his penis out. But it's revealed that he doesn't. Um, the new recruit then goes to bribe this couple that were mentioned as witnesses. And <laughs> we then cut back to Peacemaker and Vigilante as they're kind of talking about their past, how they're best friends, but they're not best friends. And then there's this little montage of them just out in the forest using bow and arrows, shooting guns, uh, bottles and stuff. And then we cut back to the couple again as they say to the cops, oh, this is who we seen. And it's Peacemaker's father. The cops go back and just arrest him. And he gets put in the back of the police car and they're like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. And then I'm just going to flash this up briefly. Both Peacemaker and Vigilante end up having sex. I think they had sex with the couple, the wife of the couple. Because they're in bed together and they're completely naked. And then Peacemaker has that device and he presses a button on it. And it pops up into like this weird thing. And he's like, what is this? And then the episode weirdly ends with Peacemaker's father entering this jail cell. But everyone in the jail cell bows down in front of him and they hold up their hands and they're like, All hail the white dragon! All hail the white dragon! And the white dragon was Peacemaker's actual father in the comics. So it's a nice, nice reference to the comics. And yeah, I'm going to be intrigued of how episode 3 is going to reveal anything. I've done my best to avoid spoilers for episode 3. I've watched, like, there, there was a video that I've seen from New Rockstars and Screen Crush. Both of them posted videos talking about all three episodes. But once they started talking about episode 3, I was like, nope, off. My review on episode 3, I think I mentioned it on the community tab, is probably going to be Monday or Tuesday. I, I can't remember, I can't, I can't remember what I said. It's on the community post, it's there somewhere. But, yeah, this, this was chapter 2 of Peacemaker, and I actually think this episode was better than the, actually no, I can't even say that. I can't, I can't even say this episode was better than the last. No, I, I can't, can't, I can't say it. I want to say it, but I'm, I'm not gonna. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. If you know, yeah, no, I've, it's a Sunday. I'm recording this, but obviously this is going up on a Monday. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I will see you for episode three, or sorry, chapter three. And then, obviously, this week, we have the Book of Boba Fett, episode 4. Is it, yeah, it is episode 4. It is episode 4. Yeah, it is. It, I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It definitely is. Yeah.